as the end of September approaches, many of us can't help but feel a sense of nostalgia for the slow days spent by the beach, basking in the warm sun and listening to the calming sound of the waves. September is a special month that marks the transition from the hustle and bustle of monsoon to the craziness of fall. It's time for reflection, relaxation and embracing the simplicity of life. It's a month where we say goodbye to the rainy days and prepare for the cooler months ahead. It's time to reflect on the year so far, both the highs and the lows, and to set intentions for the months to come. As the day gets shorter and the night gets cooler, it's time to slow down and to take stock of where we are in life. The end of September feels like the perfect time to embrace quiet days, spend alone or with loved ones. Whether you are enjoying a picnic or simply culling up with a good book, there is something magical about the pace of life in September. It's a time to savor the small moments, to appreciate the beauty of nature and to reconnect with our inner self. Stepping into silence shouldn't be a punishment. It is an enjoyable experience that allows us to fully present during life's quiet moments. Give it a try and you may like it even more than you think. I have been an introvert throughout my life who is often loved but I also love my quiet days. These days help me in embracing my fears. Fear has hold me back. It is something that we keep fighting with throughout our lives. As I look back on this 25 years of life, there are a lot of moments that I regret getting fear in. I missed on a lot of opportunities and experiences. But the moments where I faced my fear and did the scary things are the best decisions of my life. One of it was choosing my passion over a conventional path. It was a major period of my life where I created my identity as an individual. Creating a living out of pure passion was the most delusional thing. And now when I look back, all I have to 
to say is i am grateful and peaceful glad that i faced it getting to the good stuff in life often means taking risk and when the risk is uncomfortable we can become immobilized by a certain level of fear which means new opportunities go unexplored and we are therefore robbed of knowing fully what is meant to be for us but the good stuff can be had when we learn to take risk from a fearless and courageous place when it comes to fear i have a confession to make i always have it to a greater or lesser degree fear is an integral part of me to manage fears you can face them embrace them act on them and rethink them in the tibetan literature they say embrace your 10000 horrible demons and your 10000 beautiful demons you have just got to take it all and keep going all your fears have to be embraced entertained and you go on with them this month i realize how far i have come It's always nice to step back and to look at the progress that you have made. Because a lot of times we get stuck looking forward. And we often forget a lot of stuff that we already made. 